Why is that so bright? I'm sure I just turned it down. Christ on a bike. That's as low as it goes. So, where are we tonight, though, mate? So, this. Oh, That's we'll get, me, isn't we're it? Gonna, <laughs> we're gonna uh, get big dad. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> So, <laughs> are we rolling? Completely new question. Where are we tonight, Mars? <laughs> um, we're new to this whole vlogging thing, aren't we, Sam? But you know, we're going to give it a good go. So, actually, just driven a couple of hours from the northwest uh, down to Silverstone. Uh, so, two weeks ago, we were here for the media day for the Praga Cup, and at that point, I didn't actually have a seat to go ahead and race the car this season and some things happened some things happened on the day um, some deals have been done there's been I think I'm just going to sellotape my phone to my head because that's all I've been doing for the last couple of weeks and we've managed to put some last minute deals together that brings us to the first round of Praga Cup which happens to be at Silverstone GP so we're just pulling in now to the uh, main entrance and we're going to go and see the boys see the team and see everybody setting up evening Hi, oh, you're right. We're here for the um, race weekend for the test tomorrow, yeah. Two bridges turn left, National Paddock. Thanks very much. I have to say, security on a uh, Praga Cup slash Brit Car weekend is not quite the same as F1 or something like that, but uh, there we are. For a bit of context, uh, I really... <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it. Come left a bit, left. <laughs> Oh, this light is blinded. So yeah, we actually have a full weekend's worth of racing. Bloody hell, there's a left there. Um, last year, we obviously ran in the Brick Car Series and we ran in the top class, which generally was all done in one day. We ran on a Saturday. Now our weekend actually starts from Thursday night. So we're here very early for what is going to be a long weekend of racing. So. Thursday night is where all the teams arrive, all the trucks arrive, etc. Set up awnings, cars, get everything out ready to go. Because Friday is where we head uh, head onto the track and do a test. So that will actually be the first time that Tommy and I, who you'll meet shortly, he's my teammate this year, are going to really drive the car in anger and um, see what's what. Difference being this year, there's going to be a whole load more Pragas on the grid. So competition we anticipate is going to be a little bit more than we had last year. So let's see, we're just arriving into the paddock now. We're going to go ahead and look for our box, as it were. You can see Team Britta here. This is always a bit surreal when we see all the uh, trucks arriving and everyone setting up. It sort of then gives a sense of the scale of the operation, to be honest. So the level of competition for this one make series that it is this time round is is much larger. We've actually got 16 cars on the grid as opposed to the 10 Pragas we had last time, which was which okay, but you're obviously mixing it with GT3 cars, TCR cars, Class 4 cars, all sorts of stuff. Um, Sam, can you see? Ah, here we go. See a big old Praga tent and and a team and <gasps> our car. Oh Lord. Greetings. Greetings. How are we well? I'm well, how are you? I'm very well. I see you've become a movie star in the last um, few days. In the, in the last few days? I've always, yeah. I've always lived like a movie star. I just <laughs> haven't been one. Um, for anyone that's wondering, this is Vincent Randall. He's the head of the operation. Well, he's thinking of going home to bed at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good start. Yeah, no, good it's start. all right. It's good. Looking good. Oh, there's a big truck coming to get you, so I'm going to be back we'll crack on. That's Vincent. If you can't tell, he's from Manchester. Tim Gray Motorsport, all of that's going on. Christ, there's a lot here. Right, at this point, uh, we're gonna cut so I can park the car and not crash. A few moments later. Tim Gray, you, mate? and team, you, are you well? Hi. Yes, very good. Good. They're looking good. Livery looks, looks mega, mate. Tomorrow. Indeed you will. Indeed you will. Anything to report? Nothing I can say on camera. <laughs> Down. <laughs> Thought we were gonna get the inside scoop no, then. No. No, you didn't. Alright, I better go show face. 
See you in a bit. All right, mate. Are you good? Good to see you. Yeah, you too. How you, you look... doing for a weekend? Good. Yeah, pretty, pretty pumped, excited. Nice to be back. Huh? I know. I know. I wasn't sure if I was going to be back, but here we are. Yeah, I was going to say. I was going to say. I was. I was waiting. I always knew you'd be back in the ring. I was waiting to see the news. Oh. Uh, so it's just refreshing. And eventually, I saw it pop up. Yeah, uh, that's cool. Yeah. For anyone that's not met Gordy, this is Gordy. <laughs> He's driving with Jimmy this year in the... Well, you revealed the livery today, didn't they? We re revealed the livery today, yeah. So, uh, Goldie 2.0. Yeah, Goldie 2.0. It looks solid, huh? Yeah. Your car and our car are going to be Come racing there. against each other a fair bit. I hope so. You and Jimmy are you're going to have some battles. Me and Tommy have some good battles. I think so. I, I was like, trying to think. I mean, we haven't seen... We won't know until, you know, qualifying, I guess. But... Um, I was trying to think who maybe we'll be mixing it with, and it'd be, it'd be quite interesting, you know. Right, let's do a little, uh, see what else we can find. Oh, uh, yeah. You can just, you do your thing, you just hold it, don't Hi, you? guys. Hi, I'm Thank Troy you McClure. You may remember me from... Welcome to the supercar driver, or Miles Lacey. Where's where this going? This is going on my own channel. Welcome to the Miles Lacey <laughs> channel, sponsored by Manscaped. Possible side effects include loss of scalp and penis. <laughs> when the ball shaved. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we're hoping to bring on a few sponsors, like um, and maybe brand ambassadors, like what? yourself, so brand, we can do like, bef bef like befores and afters. <laughs> Which one do you want to be? I don't know, I don't know actually. I'm <laughs> quite hairy back. So like... Oh, oh. Wait, the viewers don't need to hear that. They do. Or do they? This is hairy back content. That's what you, that's what you pay for. Okay, so Vite, if you're here, if you're listening to this, <laughs> please send me a DM or Jimmy. It doesn't matter. You see this? I'm well, holding, this, holding this mic here. Like Miles doesn't even hold his own mic. He's a. <laughs> You can do it on if you want. He's too good for that. No, he's, no, no, he's that's, not, that's not how he does it. He always holds the mic. That's like his thing. He's a presenter. Yeah. I suppose it is, isn't it? So give us a little context, Jimmy. Where are we tonight? What are we, doing? Uh, we are at Silverstone. It's really nice and warm. Uh, last prep for testing tomorrow uh, for round one Pro Cup. And uh, yeah, I think everyone's just sort of bumbling around and we're doing nothing. <laughs> As per, we're standing around watching people do things. Good job, guys. You're doing great. Um, so yeah, you've obviously revealed your uh, livery today, which is pretty cool. Mm, yeah, happy with that one. It's um, basically we want to try and retain a bit of last year goldiness, but um, with a little bit of a twist. We've got a Fanatec on board who are our sponsor, yeah. and it's our colours basically, so it all works out. But trying not to, you know, a bit of a rich energy vibe. Trying okay. to okay. step away from that. A bit, hey, look, but... if they're bringing some money along. <laughs> That's all good. <laughs> Rich energy, please contact Miles Lacey. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing some shameless plugs here. <laughs> anyway, um, congrats on the car and the new sponsor, mate. I Thank guess we'll see you out there this weekend. Best of luck. Should we do a reveal of the lesser spotted Jack Fabby? Oh, he's upset. He's always pissed off about something. I think we go in anyway. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Hi. <laughs> this is Jack. He's very miserable. <laughs> But you're actually running me and Tommy this weekend, aren't you? That's why I'm miserable. That's not very nice. Um, he loves it, really. Anything to say? I love the money. <laughs> <laughs> love the cash. Love that money. Woo! 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 Ow! Love that money. Ow! Ow. <laughs> this weekend is going to be filled with high fives. Not many leaves around here. Not many leaves, no money. No actual cash. High fives in a little. Are they crisp high fives? You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. Can we do it again? My car got the wrong way. Yeah, it did. Can you just edit in like a shockwave coming off that or something? <laughs> and him going. Uh, you ready? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's uh, it's a bit surreal actually. Because you know when we were driving in, like we saw the trucks and everything. Yeah. Like that's. Last year, seeing all that for the first time was a, was amazing because like all this stuff's here for us. Yeah. But it doesn't feel like it still feels just as incredible this time. Yeah, and I think as well coming in and this all being set up down here. Yeah. Is far more visual than it being in the garage. Yeah, definitely. So seeing all of the hospitality and the branding that's up and even all the other guys' garages and things. It feels like a real thing. I know it was last thing. year, but it's you know it's a one make series now. It feels. A bit more harmonious as well. <laughs> no, yeah, no. That's what we were, we were just sandbagging last year for the whole season. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you got actual genuine 
now. Yeah, that's going to be tricky. Mind you, it's got me this far in life, so we'll just carry on, won't we? OK, so obviously we have had a bit of a look around to see what's going on in the paddock. So like I said earlier, it's a totally different landscape to what we experienced last year. Just a lot more cars and teams. Um, so Friday is test day, that's tomorrow. So hopefully everybody gets a decent night's sleep tonight. And, um, you know, start to see actually what people have got to give out there and see all the cars in their liveries for the next year, next few months ahead. So you'll meet Tommy tomorrow. He's my co-driver uh, for the season. So we'll introduce you to him tomorrow. Let everybody get a good night's sleep, prep the cars, and we'll see you in the morning. So we're just going to go, we've arrived on the Friday, official Friday test. We've got a driver's briefing now, which we're going to head into, see what they've got to say. We did the first one of the season, so um, we'll meet up with everybody and catch up and we'll see who's uh, ready to go and mix it, I guess. Hello! I'm good, are you? Uh, he's in the truck, he's coming out, he's coming out. Hey mate, you good? Hey, yeah, good to see you. And you mate, you okay? Yeah mate, we're chilling. <laughs> we're back aren't we? I know. You ready to go? I think everybody's here. Uh, and I think we've got this um, wonderful banter and repartee from here before. But, um... <laughs> but um, yeah, good luck, have a good weekend and thank you again. Thank you. Seamless transition. Good morning. So you find us at Silverstone GP on Saturday, mo Saturday morning? Friday morning. Friday morning, is it? I'm really good at these intros. Um, so we arrived last night and had a look around the car. Basically just everybody setting up. But Friday is the official test. So we're actually going to be out with about 35 other cars in our session. Because the brick car grid this year is absolutely enormous. I think in total between trophy and endurance is something like 75 cars which is mad obviously we're in our own uh, category with with Praga in a one make series so ultimately we will race on our own but we test with everything else so format is going to be uh, Tommy is going to drive first of all basically go get a bit acquainted with the car he's driven it a little bit not as much as because he didn't race it last year um, but he's just getting his feet under the table really and then I'll jump in, do a few laps. We've got a seat fitting about lunchtime as well. And um, see what's what, really. So, yeah, it's a slightly different landscape um, this year. Driving for the factory car, in the factory car, I should say, last year. But we were in an Idola car with Tommy Foster this time, which is essentially a, a customer team. So we've had to bring some sponsors, proper sponsors, on board this time. So you'll see throughout the season, as they come on board, who they are. Uh, but firstly, for the first round, we've got Health Code and we've got BGE Automotive. So um, I'll pop some links in descriptions and stuff and you can see what they do and see what they're all about. But thank you to them for coming on board so early on. So you can probably hear in the background now, the engineer is just running up the car, which means running it up through the gearbox, getting the gearbox oil warm, engine oil, etc., water temperatures, looking for any faults. Tommy's going to go out first, hopefully report good news that the car's strong and no problems and uh, see what he's got to say when he jumps out.
and that actually concludes I think my first and only run today <laughs> that we'll do uh, but we had full wet conditions that were obviously on the GP circuit it's a long lap but it really properly started raining just as I went out so um, because the car had just been sort of rebuilt from an issue it had this morning it was just a quick and dirty sort of wet setup on it uh, which sort of works it's actually pretty good so we've just a couple of tweaks that I think Tommy agrees with as well uh, to help us in full wet, which I think it will be the rest of the day. Um, feels good, feels good. It's definitely good to be back in the car. It's the first time I've driven one for in, in that sort of anger for quite some time. So all being well, we're in a good place for tomorrow, but we've got no idea what the weather's gonna do. You know, today it's said it's gonna be dry, it's going to be wet and then it just does whatever it wants to do so it'll be what it'll be on the day which is fine we can live with that. Um, ideally we would have had some wet and dry running today but you know you can't have it all. The main thing is I think we've fixed some of the main issues we've had this morning so feeling a little bit better about it than I was this morning but uh, time will tell. We'll carry on see what Tommy says and uh, hopefully keep it all in one piece and qualify well tomorrow. is the world of motorsport let me tell you it never ever disappoints in that respect there's so much great content that we filmed over that first weekend we've had to split it out into two episodes and I can't begin to explain how much drama there was towards the race and what happened in the race you've got to switch into episode two because geez I don't know where to start so much happened that weekend good and bad Tommy and I have proven beyond doubt that we're going to be fighting at the sharp end every race this season. There's a hell of a lot of work to do between now and Alton Park, but you've got to switch over to episode two and as soon as we put it live and we have got a real story to tell. See you there.